Welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place Ranch. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm out in my shop and I'm fixing to do some maintenance on our 2017 Sibiru Forester. And I thought I'd show y'all uh, a little bit what I'm doing today and show you under hood of Subaru Forester. Uh, if you've never seen one of their engines, this is the base 2.5 engine. And um, it's, uh, it's not an inline four, it's not a V engine, but it's like a uh, flat engine. It's got the cylinders running this way and it's got a head on this side and head on this side and it sits a lot lower in the vehicle and uh, so it's a little bit different engine and the reason we bought this uh, vehicle uh, I like working on all my own stuff and um, Subaru they they supposed to be pretty good vehicle and this first one we've ever owned and so far we've been real happy with it and they gave us no trouble and um, but the thing that attracted me to this particular car was just the engine itself how easy it is to work on everything and i'll just kind of show you if you look you have your air filter right here this is where you check your oil there's your alternator real easy to get to in place just take this little cover off and um, right here is your oil filter so you can see how it how easy it is to get to that that is where you, you know put your oil in and then look on the front of it right here you can see your air conditioning pressure right here. It's real easy to get to. It's just right on top. Then down in here is your water pump. Down in there, easy to get to. And your tensioner right here. And you can actually see your crankshaft pulley right there. So everything's real easy to get on to on this engine. The hardest thing I reckon would be your when you get ready to change your spark plugs. Look right down in here, right down there, you have a uh, ignition coil here and right over here. So you have two on each side. So that's, that looks like the toughest thing to get to. Then you see right back here is your starter right there. So uh, just everything, your battery right here, just on the corner here. So everything is real easy to get to on this vehicle to work on it. And uh, so I just want to show y'all that. Uh, I, I've always been a little fascinated about you know how they designed this particular engine and uh, so uh, I just want to share that with y'all but I'm fixing to get busy get my oil changed and uh, we'll be back in a little while take my oil filter off real slow uh, let the oil drain out into the uh, opening on this uh, oil filter housing I don't like it take it off too fast you know it may spill out and you got a little bit more clean up so take it off real slow how quick and easy that was to take off and uh, I'll just show you this right here real quick how it looks there kind of looks it don't make a mess just take take your time take it off slow and uh, it's just very little cleanup you gotta do snug it down and take my torque wrench and I'll torque it down to uh, 30 foot pounds 
the calls are 32. I've always just torqued mine down to 30. put in it and uh, ever since we bought this car we bought it brand new we've always uh, put the Pennzoil Platinum 4 Synthetic uh, 0W20 in it and uh, seemed like you know it's been good oil that's what I've run in my other vehicles too uh, Pennzoil now I don't I don't put the uh, full synthetic in my trucks I just run like a high mileage and a regular uh, pens oil. I ran um, Valvoline in them uh, before and it, they seem like good oil. Uh, I don't really care for castor oil. Uh, took one of my engines apart one time, having to do intake gaskets on it. and uh, Up to that point, I think it had like 70,000 miles on the 97F150. And uh, up to that point, um, it had probably maybe 80 or 100,000 miles, somewhere in that range. And that engine, in the valley of the engine, it was gummed up. And uh, I switched oils to uh, pens oil after that. But uh, most oils are good. I just I don't know. Maybe just that engine design that was bad. But I, I switched from that castor oil. I didn't use it no more. So I'm putting five quarts in here and. Uh, I'll check it, make sure everything looks good, crank it up, and uh, maybe y'all find this video a little interesting. I know it's uh, pretty basic doing the oil change, but I just wanted to uh, bring y'all along and let y'all uh, see my uh, Subaru Forester here and kind of what it looks like up under the engine and everything. So, uh, appreciate y'all coming along, watching the videos. Uh, Appreciate y'all, and uh, as always, friends, from our family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.